so what do we got? We're cutting some patches out of the roof. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of you leave a bit in there until you get stuff stitched in and then, yeah. Because if you cut out the whole piece, you're just playing with fire for stability. This still has some stability. So you only take out what you need to. This is all still solid up the top here. Don't cut it away any more than what you have to. So this is what happens, prime example, where uh, moisture and shit gets in behind the sheet metal here and starts rotting away. And um, you can see it's already starting to get a bit hot. Ooh, I see more holes down through there. So, um, so that's what happens, yeah. And uh, you can see where um, we use a rust converter stuff and we use an air sprayer use the uh, air blaster thing while we're spraying that stuff and you can see actually where it ran all the way through here before we cut this off so that's that's why we use that system you can see it in behind there so it's like yeah, yeah, so, so this is how we get in behind there without removing the sheet metal so you get, a, get a bit of a spray up Shoots it all in there, behind there. So that's the trick. See it coming in through that hole there. Yeah, so anyway, um, when the new sheet metal, where's those sheets? Oh, right, they're across there. See, they're pre-folded, they've got the gutter and all, but we really only need this section here, but this is the best way of buying them. So, uh, when, the, when it's all welded in there, then we uh, spray the rust treater in behind, and that not only coats the back of the, the new sheet that's welded in and all your welds and everything, but it also floods all down in here. So all this gets rust treated all the way through. So. Um, yeah, so that's what you got to do. So you can see we've treated that all the way along there. That's the rust converter stuff. And then we weld that in and then that gets more stuff put in behind. So that's just part of the process. So I just thought I'd um, add a little bit in there of that. All right, goodbye. Here goes back. Here goes back. Here we go. What do we got? here how's these repairs coming along well we've seen all that where the um, everything's been rust treated through there but here up. so this part here was all cut out as you can tell it had a few too many decent sized holes in it so that was uh, a piece cut out. There was a hole on the inner, the inner channel that was patched. And um, that's underneath this part here. Which is, oh, can't even see it. See, that's what I mean. So we put a patch on the inner there and then this is welded in on the outer. So now we've just got a patch to put in here. Um, this hole here can be done from the inside. Um, yeah, and then we can start putting on, oh, we've got another little bit to put in there. And we can start putting some bits on the outside, welding them in. And one thing we like to do is just coat everything. You know, that's all been rust treated through there. So then where you got to weld these pieces on the outside, even though they're uh, zinc and eel or something like that, sheeting um, yeah we're going to uh, we still coat the inside so you just give it as much protection as possible uh, even though that's um, once you weld that in and then paint the car like we add more rust treater again from the inside like from here we blow it down and it all runs down into there and it should prevent all that and in these um, 
areas, that's what you got to do. You just got to get the rust treater everywhere. See along here, there's no holes at all. So we're going to, um, we should only have to rust treat that from the inside right through. So that's sort of what it takes. Everything you put up, you need to coat and uh, I guess this stuff is all treated with a, a, it's a rust converter, so it turns it into a, like a black primer. Um, all this new stuff here that was welded in, the new sheetings was degreased and had um, black zinc primer sprayed over it. So yeah, and the inside of that same was all coated. So everything you put on, you're not just putting bare sheet metal up and that's it. So like the only thing that'll be bare is the outside of these outside sheets. And once they're in, then it all gets epoxied anyway. Um, and then it's good to go. It's like all these pieces put in here, it's all coated in the back of the, uh, the back of the inner lip there, it's all sprayed with, um, you know, like copper spray, weld through primer, so that you could, yeah, just, just create as much protection as possible. Some areas where you overlap and that you can't do much with them. Uh, like, so what you gotta do is put some, um, you know, coat everything behind there, like no well, no coat, no weld through primer can stand up to like the 2000 degrees of a weld, but all the other surrounding areas. And then you've got to um, seam seal everything so that you're not getting any air or moisture or anything in these little gaps. So you tap all that down and seam seal it. And then that should be the rust sorted for a long time. That's the aim of the game, so long as possible. So um, we shall continue on with the repairs. We've still got to do all this. Andrew's just got that sitting there. Um, yeah, so that's uh, plenty more to do. Alrighty, bye for now. Yeah, how's it going? There you go. We've got it all stitched in. This was the bad side. A lot more on this side than the other side, and the hard part's all done. All the insides patched up. The outside is all cut to size and tacked in place. So we. Um, Tack it in with the MIG and finish it off with the TIG. So what's going on around this side? Oh no! Definitely some nasty, nasty stuff down there. And you can see where all the, uh, the inner is just rotten away. Just rotten. Hence why all the rot continues that way. So definitely a lot less here, but still stuff still needs treating. So um, we shall keep on cutting and keep on welding. So it's uh, really flying through the repairs now.
Hey, Grey Guy's back. What's going on? What we've got happening is repairs, repairs, repairs. We will make chili great again. Uh, what have we got? You've seen already. I think I've already ooh, got a couple of patches to do across the top. But um, that's all sorted, so that just needs tigging off. Completely sealed with weld. And we've got a few patches done there. That's all you need. All this is nice and solid. Won't have any issues there. Unfortunately, when you're cutting some of these patches, you've got to get low enough. So um, sometimes you've got to cut through the gutter, but that gets welded up too and ground back and as good as new. So uh, this needs removing. Um, so the next thing to work out at is this piece here. Uh, that's all been repaired on the inside there, rust treated, seam sealed, you name it. So the next thing is to cut some pies out. It's pie time. This is where a little bit of um, mathematics knowledge comes in handy. Um, that's the running joke in the family, the fact that um, I only went to uh, finish year nine at school and uh, math was my favourite subject and um, I certainly know enough to get by in life. And I actually, my, able, my ability to um, think on the fly sometimes, as in quick, quick um, percentages and um, see, I didn't even stay long enough to know the correct terms, but I can uh, add, subtract, divide uh, without a calculator quite well. Um, and um, but uh, Andrew went all the way to high school, and um, let's just see if he can work this out. Um, we have done these corners before where you. Um, you uh you know do it in a few separate pieces but he's determined to try and get it in one piece so there'd be lots of bending folding cutting welding together etc um i'm not sure i think you may be able to get those pieces now um back yeah those corner pieces but anyway we're going to repair it because it won't take long at all so um, so yeah, roof is almost done basically. Uh, we've uh, our gas supplier for the um, TIG gases. Um, yeah, they've sort of they ran out and then they uh, we ordered some and then it went before it barely came off the back of the truck. So anyway, that's we're going up to get that this morning. Um, not that it's held us up at all because we're um, tacking in with the MIG and, and fabricating all these pieces. So um, yeah, that's that's all good. So in here, um, anyway, yeah, that's no, I'm getting sidetracked now. So it's yeah, so that's where we're up to with Chile. Uh, lots of repairs. That panels. Not much left on that, so yeah, so Andrew can start on some other pieces once that roof's finished. So you can see here, this has been replaced in the past, right across to uh, the old piece was up here. Um, and you could tell that it was all, it wasn't lined up, it was all mangled and bogged up and, and whatnot. So, so yeah, we've got some decent size repairs to do there and on the inside as well. So I guess uh, some people will look at it and go, oh wow, is, is that even worth it? Yeah, it is worth it. It's just metal. Metal is very easy to um, add and subtract from. And uh, you've just got to make sure that you, um, you know, measure once, cut three times, or so whatever, something like that. Measure once, cut three times, is that right? Yeah, nice handbag, son. Yeah, so um, 
Yeah, that's the update on Chile. So I'm going to um, put another video up soon. And if you're watching this, that means I've already done it. So uh, that's all for now. Bye.